any stage. Um, I thought we showed some glimpses where we competed hard defensively, um, particularly in that first half. But they had 100 more plays with the ball, and that was our own fault. Um, where and how we're making errors at the moment was a little bit concerning. Um, not sure if we have to do any tackle practice this week because if we did plenty of it tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, oh, we played a pretty good team. Um, and oh, if we played the way we did tonight in terms of ball security, you know, we, we don't beat anyone. So, um, you know, from that point of view, I'm really disappointed. Um, yeah, there's not much I can really add. I can't. Bit of concentration, a bit of fatigue, yeah. Uh, we're tucking ourselves into a standstill. Um, in my opinion, we're lucky it wasn't 50 nil. You know, um, they bombed a couple of tries. Uh, 15 minutes to go, I thought we were out in the feet. Um, in the last try, I was really disappointed in the last try we conceded because I thought. There should have been more effort for market, more pressure on Cleary, and there wasn't. And that's a decision, a personal decision. Um, and we weren't competing hard enough around the ball when the ball went to ground. And, you know, we've talked a good game all pre-season, and um, we've shown some glimpses of it. Um, but, you know, we've got bucket loads of work to do. Yeah, yeah it was pretty positive at half-time, you know. Um, you know, to, to give away that sort of possession and field position and only be down 8 now, I thought it was a real positive and you know, the players felt that. Um, it was important that we started well in the second half, but um, it wasn't the case. Um, they rolled down the field pretty easily. Um, yeah, and we just, yeah, we just weren't good enough. Long way off. Yep. Well, I'll give you an example. The try, the last try that I was talking about was from Jace, not putting pressure on him from Marco. So they're the efforts that I'm talking about, him improving to be the best four in the, in the game. Um, look, and that's, that's not just on him. There are some other players in the middle of the park that need to move better. And... Whether we give away possession like we did today or not, that's that's a non-negotiable for us, and that's what we spoke about. They scored the more, most tries from kicks in the comp last year, and that was a big focus point for us, and that was a decision that I, th you know, personal decision that, I, you know, it wasn't good enough. Well, he got 55 because we didn't hold the ball. Like, that's not nothing to do with his minutes. He can play five games in a row and he would have got 100, 100 metres. So I don't care the type of flack I'm going to cop about that, but I've said it several times. Jace is contracted here for seven years. If we cook him 65 to 75 minutes a game in three to four years, I mean, what value are we going to get out of him? So this is a long-term decision about Jace's um, health and my ambition to hold on to the job, I guess. Do you feel like you might have gotten a bit burnt out over the last couple of years? Pardon? Do you feel like it's been a little bit burnt out over the last couple of years? No. No. I th for, for, for anyone to stay on the park in the middle of the field like Jace does, you're going to cut corners somewhere, and it comes in your defensive movements, your retreat oh. speed, your line speed. And if we let Jace get away with that, the young forwards that we have in, the, in our club think that's the way you defend. So it's not a decision around Jace, it's more a decision around the way that we want to defend as a unit, particularly in the middle of the park.